Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you may find me. Happy Monday, but it's Labor Day. As a laborer, it's nice to be off. Welcome to our daily bread that the green screen's like, no. September 2nd, our author today is Sheridan Vons. They'll be analyzing Acts 244. All the believers were together and had everything in common. Our title is Humbly Asking for Help. As our party approached, my wife and I started planning, with many people coming, should we pay a caterer to cook? If we do the cooking ourselves, should we buy a barbecue? With a small chance of rain on the day, should we buy a tent too? So our party was getting a little expensive and even a little antisocial. But trying to provide everything ourselves, we were missing an opportunity to receive the help of others. The Bible's vision of community is one of giving and receiving. Even before the fall, Adam needed help. And we're calling to seek others' advice and share our burdens. The early church held everything in common, benefiting from each other's property and possessions. Instead of living independently, they shared, borrowed, gave, and received in beautiful interdependencies. We ended up asking our guests to bring a salad or dessert to our party. Our neighbors brought their barbecue and a friend brought his tent. Asking for help enabled us to forge closer relationships and the food people made brought variety and delight in an age and like ours being self-sufficient can be a source of pride but god gives his grace to the humble including those who humbly ask for help dear god thank you for making us re relational creatures please help us all to live humbly sharing both our wealth and our needs with others. And now a couple questions for you to think about. What stops you from asking for help? Pride. And I think I can do it better than everybody else and I'm wrong. What do you currently need that you could borrow instead of buy? I don't currently know. I will stop too. Think about it. God bless you guys. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Monday and an enjoyable day off if you have one. Amen.